What's black and white and 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 black and white? Penguin rolling down a hill. But what's black and white and laughing? The penguin that pushed him. And this is Balloon Animal Lessons number 25. Hello, Balloon World. I'm your balloon twister, Michael Floyd, and today I want to teach you how to make a two balloon rose. Aw, rose, isn't it pretty? I made it just for you. It's a simple design, only uses two balloons. You use whatever color you want for the flower and then a green part for the stem and the leaves. It's pretty fast, it's one of the crowd pleasers. Definitely getting a lot of mileage out of this one. Let me show you how to make it. For the rose, you'll need two balloons. Green one for the stem, whatever color you want for the bulb. Grab the color you want for the flower part and inflate it about three quarters of the way. Let some air out so it's soft. Tie a knot. We're gonna start by doing a tulip twist. To do a tulip twist, take your finger and push the knot into the balloon, then grab the knot from the outside, work your finger out while holding onto the knot. Now twist on this side of the knot you can sort of see the knots right there on the outside and then push it back inside and it will stay like that. That's our tulip twist. Now I twist a very small bubble right below it. This gives us some slack for later. Now the rest of this, I want to give this a good squeeze and I want this to be real soft. Trust me, you're gonna want it soft. Now I want this to be as soft as I can get it. I also want it to fill up as much of that balloon as I can. I have a little bit of a nozzle there, so I can take that one, wrap it around, take it and wrap it in there. Now I have a really funky looking one flower petal. I want to make this into three. So divide it into thirds, like so. And then make sure all the air is evenly distributed. Then twist off the one on the top and the ones on the side. If they're not exactly the same size, that's okay. They need to be roughly the same size, but exact doesn't need to be. That's our flower. Now we need our stem. Get your green balloon and inflate it pretty much all the way. Now we let some air out. Then we let some more air out. Then we tie it. We take it, we fold it over, make a flower petal. This is the leaf. You want to figure out however far down from the top. This is the top where the knot is. You want the leaves to happen. Take it again, fold it over, give it a squeeze. Now, flower petals don't have to be the same size because not all flower petals are the same size. And there we have our stem. Looks like a sword because it's the same design just turned upside down and we're using it as a flower petal. We can shape the leaves, bend them over, give them a nice massage. If they're soft, you can shape them a little bit more. Now we're gonna take the knot and wrap it into our flower. Grab your flower, take the knot, wrap it in where the three leaves meet, or the three petals meet. And there we have our rose. Not really, I know. Now comes the tricky part. So far it's been easy up to this. We're gonna take one of the petals. We're gonna move it in between one of the other petals. If you look, one end is on this side of this petal and the other one's on the other side. And we do that sort of like a chain link all the way around. So since this one went in between that one, now this other one here should go in between this one. Then I move the tulip twist up inside of it. And now this one here will go inside this one. If it pops on you, your flower petals need to be softer because these are really soft so they're not gonna pop on me. There we go, our rose is done. Now if you examine the bulb there, you can see that this part here is, whoops, sorry. This part here is this flower petal here. And this part here is this flower petal. So the flower petal starts coming out from before the previous one and goes around the next one. So this part and this part are two different flower petals. This part is 
inside this flower petal, but this flower petal is inside this flower petal. And this flower petal is inside this flower petal, and this flower petal is inside this flower petal. And it makes it look like a blooming rose, a really simple one. You should be able to make this inside of two minutes at a restaurant or for line work really fast. And our two balloon rose is done. It's so pretty. If you like this video, make sure you check out the previous video or the next video or the random video. And don't forget to subscribe. A balloon rose. Oh, isn't it cute? Girls just love this. This is how I got my wife.